Hey guys, what's up? Rick Cordero, Run Play It Back. So as you know, I just picked up a Canon C200. Really love this camera, really pleased with the results. It has its quirks, no camera is perfect, but it's all good. Added a few upgrades, but the one thing, the big thing that I wanted to talk about is this CFast 2.0 to MSATA adapter that I got online. So a lot of people wanna shoot cinema raw light on this thing and are concerned about the storage abilities and the CFast cars, the price of them. So this is another option. I know there's a few out there, but uh, I'll just walk you through the one that I got. So this is it. This is the CFast 2.0 to MSATA adapter. I got this from Marion Montanau. I think I'm butchering your name, but shout out to Marion. He's based in Italy and he makes these to order. So these are all custom made. This one in particular is 15 centimeters or about six inches long. Um, he added these right angle connectors. So I didn't know exactly how I was gonna mount it on the C200 initially, but I thought the right angle would save me some space. Um, the cable over here where the door closes is very thin, so the door is actually able to close. You don't have to mod it. Uh, you don't have to like cut anything out here. Um, and there's also no need for an external battery. So you don't actually need to have a USB from your V-mount battery or some other external source. So everything is contained in here and it's really lightweight and uh, very durable. There's some um, braided cable over here, like a sleeve to protect the cable on this side and then some uh, heat shrink on the connectors. Um, and then the uh, enclosure for the MSATA, uh, this one in particular is Kingshare. So it's an aluminum enclosure. So if this is something that you like, um, definitely let Marion know. I like it, I think it's, you know, feels pretty heavy duty. Um, and then for the drive, I ended up choosing this H60 Evo MSATA, one terabyte. Um, I got this refurbished or like new on Amazon for about 200 bucks. So you can get some good deals on MSATA drives right now on Amazon. And again, uh, when you compare it to the price of a CFast 2.0, uh, the Extreme Pro from SanDisk, I think was 700 bucks. I think they're lowering it now. It might be like 670, 679. Um, and then I think EgoDisk and a couple of other companies are doing like 300 bucks for 256 gigs. So they're dropping in price, but still, um, just still a little bit pricey for what it is, right? And if you lose one, you're sort of, you know, that's no good and you have to transfer cards on set, whatnot. But I know a lot of people are not really into the DIY thing. I am, I like DIY, I like hacking into things. Um, and you know, if you're worried about this failing uh, on a client shoot or something like that, I, I'm sure if you, like most things, if you order like a contingency cable, if you have doubles of everything, um, I think, you know, Marion might be able to work with you if you order multiples. But it's always good to have backups, especially cables. Uh, that, you know, power cables or whatever, video cables just in case. Um, and then this I bought separately on my own. This is just a SATA to USB. So what's great is, and I actually did this last night, was after I shot some Cinema Raw light footage, I was able to edit directly from my, um, from my MacBook, just connected it, connected the drive to this, um, to this cable and just worked on it. And you know, no performance issues, nothing. I'm editing in Premiere and it just worked really well. I also have kind of a newish um, MacBook Pro, but uh, yeah, no problems whatsoever. Um, and then here, people, a lot of people are like, how does this thing, how are you gonna rig this thing? So uh, I'll just show you real quick. So the, the card goes in here, like so. Pops in and then door closes, as you can see, no issues there. And then, um, I have the cables running up towards the handle, towards this small rig top handle. And then I have uh, this, um, let me swing this around, but I have basically this um, smart bracket, like this uh, smartphone smart bracket with this quarter inch thread uh, connected to the um, top handle. Um, you know, it's not, maybe it's not the most elegant, uh, <laughs> rig, but uh, I think it works for me. I think I'm still able to kind of get a grip on the top handle while still having access to the drive. Um, but you could also, you know, if you want to get really clever with it, you could probably epoxy like a quarter 20 female thread uh, nut over here and then just like, you know, add it to a uh, 
ball head or something like that. So there's different ways you can mount this. I'm not really concerned about, you know, how weird it looks or if it's going to get in the way. Um, you, you could, you could, you could have some ideas, some better ideas than I do, but I like this idea. So essentially I just slide this guy in here. Uh, let me loosen the bracket a little bit. And then what's cool is if you, you know, end up getting multiple, um, you know, multiple drives, you can just slide them in and out really easily like that. And then try trying to do this one handed. It's a little tricky, but uh, so the data cable is here and that goes in like so. Oops. And then the power cable like so. So these are modded. Um, so Marion actually mods these so that the, the power is drawn from the CFAST card, 3.2 volts, I believe, um, into, the, uh, into the actual PCB board um, for the MSATA drive. So um, yeah, which is great. So that means you, know, you don't have to connect um, this power cable to uh, the USB of the V-mount. Great. So we'll switch it on, uh, switch on the camera. I think I have my power, yep, there you go. So camera's turning on, you can see it's initializing green. So CFAST is active. Um, so I shot some stuff on it. Let's see if I can get that focused, but yeah. Um, so there's 117 minutes left on the, uh, on the drive. As you can see, I'm shooting 4K, 12-bit, uh, 24P. Um, yeah, and then uh, <laughs> it just functions as it should. So it's rolling. And when I first got it, I tested it. I just you know, like had it rolling for like half an hour and everything worked out. So. That's a really cool option for anyone who wants to kind of try this, uh, this DIY upgrade. Um, there's another option uh, that uh, Armando Ferrara, and sorry if I butcher your name, Armando, but um, he just did a cool video about the solid pod. And that was, um, I think that one is about 400 bucks USD on Amazon. So there's that option as well. Um, I, I prefer this again because I'm more like into DIY. I, I, I kind of like having to um, kind of like just getting the drive, like disconnecting the drive and then working directly off the computer with this cable. And I'm not sure if the solid pod does that necessarily. I think, I think what he mentioned is that you have to um, connect it through the CFAST, through a CFAST card reader. So I don't know if, I don't know if I might be wrong on that. You might be able to do the same thing on the solid pod, but um, you know, the option to maybe like change the enclosure or if I wanted to possibly like do a M.2 um, SSD enclosure. So I gotta reach out to Mary and see if that's an option because M.2 SSDs are actually cheaper than MSATA and they're smaller. So they're like a smaller stick, right? Um, yeah, so I, I actually shot some footage. So I'm gonna show you guys, like right after this, I'll show you guys what that looks like. I, I, this is the first time I actually shot on um, Cinema Raw Light, and I'm really excited about the results. I thought, I, I think it's really awesome, like the amount of dynamic range that you get and the options that you have in post. I, I totally like flubbed the white balance when I was shooting, but you know, going back in there and changing those properties it was really cool. Um, and then just not having this, uh, you know, sort of having the confidence that you could shoot a lot. You know, you shouldn't probably overshoot, but you could shoot a lot and it's not a big deal. Um, also shout out to Johnny Butters for uh, the first video uh, using Marion's um, adapter. So shout out to him for like kind of getting me excited about doing this kind of upgrade. Um, and yeah, I think, I think a lot of people will benefit from this. I know the Ursa has uh, a version of this. I have a buddy who has the Ursa Mini and he has something similar, but I, I feel like this is a really elegant solution, to be honest. It's really not 
not intrusive in any way and it feels rock solid especially if you have like an aluminum enclosure and this bracket or another way to add a quarter 20 you know thread and mount it and you could even mount it on top of here if you wanted to so there's a lot of cool ways to to figure out how you want to do that So that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know there's gonna be a lot of options for the CFast to SSD for the C200. Uh, it's definitely gonna be, I think there's a big demand for it um, from the people who are requesting this. So I think the tech is gonna get a lot better. But uh, yeah, definitely support Marion. Super cool dude, super responsive. Um, if you wanna you know, just get something to your specs, maybe you want a longer cable or maybe you want a different enclosure, uh, hit him up on Facebook. I'll have a link to his Facebook. I hope he doesn't mind. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions or comments about this setup, hit me on the blog at runplayback.com.